वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी स्टडीज इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री आंसर इज स्टेबिलिटी स्टडीज प्ले इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन एसेसिंग द लॉन्ग टर्म परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ड्रग प्रोडक्ट्स बाय मॉनिटरिंग देयर फिजिकल केमिकल एंड माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ओवर टाइम अंडर वेरियस स्टोरेज कंडीशंस प्रोवाइडिंग क्रिटिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन टू डिटरमाइन देयर शेल्फ लाइफ एंड स्टोरेज रिकमेंडेशन रेफरेंस गाइडलाइन आई सी एच क्यू वन ए आर टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट स्टेबिलिटी जोन्स फॉर ड्रग प्रोडक्ट्स यू कैन रेफर बिलो टेबल फॉर डिफरेंट स्टेबिलिटी जोन्स एंड देयर टेम्परेचर एंड रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी रिक्वायरमेंट्स एज पर गाइडलाइन आई सी एच क्यू वन ए आर टू जोन वन इज फॉर एक्सेटेड स्टेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग जोन टू इज फॉर इंटरमीडिएट स्टेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग एंड जोन थ्री एंड फोर आर फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म स्टेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग दैट इज रियल टाइम डेटा How are stability testing time points are determined? Answer is stability testing time points are strategically selected based on the expected shelf life of the drug product considering factors such as formulation characteristics, anticipated storage conditions and regulatory requirements. Reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2. What are the recommended storage conditions for stability studies? The recommended storage conditions include temperature and relative humidity combination such as 25 degrees Celsius by 60% RH, 30 degrees Celsius by 65% RH, and 40 degrees Celsius by 75% RH. Simulating real life storage environments and facilitating data extrapolation for long-term product stability predictions. Reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2. This one is very important question what are the key parameters monitored during stability studies answer is stability studies monitor critical quality attributes including appearance assay related substance that is impurities dissolution and microbial content enabling a comprehensive evaluation of the product's quality and performance over time reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 This is very important question what is the difference between real time and accelerated stability studies answer is real time stability studies are conducted over the products intended shelf life under actual storage conditions whereas accelerated stability studies use elevated temperature and humidity to assess the product stability over a shorter time helping to predict products long term stability behavior reference guideline ICHQ1 AR2 Next question what is the significance of Arrhenius equation in stability studies the Arrhenius equation is a fundamental tool used to estimate the impact of temperature on rate of product degradation facilitating data extrapolation from accelerated conditions to real time storage conditions providing valuable insights into long term stability reference ICH Q1 AR2 How do we determine the shelf life of drug product from stability data? The shelf life of drug product is determined by analyzing stability data, identifying the time point at which its critical quality attributes meet pre-established acceptance criteria, ensuring that the product remains safe and effective throughout its specified shelf life. Reference ICH Q1E. What is the purpose of stress testing in stability studies? Stress testing involves subjecting the drug product into harsh conditions beyond its normal storage conditions to identify and understand its inherent stability, potential degradation pathways and impurity formation, providing valuable information for formulation development and ensuring product quality and safety. Reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 How are stability data used in the drug product approval process? Answer is stability data are an integral part of regulatory submission dossier providing evidence of the drug product's quality, safety and efficacy during storage and are assessed by regulatory authorities to ensure compliance with guidelines before granting approval for marketing and distribution. Reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 What is the role of stability indicating methods in stability studies? Stability indicating methods help to differentiate the drug substance from its degradation products during stability testing, ensuring accurate quantification and assessment of product stability. 
रेफरेंस गाइडलाइन आईसीएच क्यू वन बी वॉट आर द एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया फॉर स्टेबिलिटी स्टडीज आंसर इज एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया आर प्री डिफाइंड लिमिट यूज टू इवेलेट स्टेबिलिटी डेटा फॉर इच टाइम पॉइंट हेल्पिंग टू डिटरमाइन वेदर द ड्रग प्रोडक्ट रिमेन्स विद इन इट्स एस्टेब्लिश क्वालिटी स्पेसिफिकेशन थ्रू आउट इट्स शेल्फ लाइफ रेफरेंस गाइडलाइन आईसीएच क्यू वन ए आर टू हाउ डू यू हैंडल फोटो स्टेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग इन स्टेबिलिटी स्टडीज फोटो स्टेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग यूरेज द ड्रग प्रोडक्ट ससेप्टिबिलिटी टू डिग्रेडेशन ड्यू टू लाइट एक्सपोजर हेल्पिंग टू असेस द पोटेंशियल इम्पैक्ट ऑफ लाइट ऑन इट्स स्टेबिलिटी एंड इन्फॉर्मिंग अप्रोप्रिएट पैकेजिंग एंड स्टोरेज रिकमेंडेशन रेफरेंस गाइडलाइन आई सी एच क्यू वन बी वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर एक्सकर्शन ऑन स्टेबिलिटी स्टडीज टेम्परेचर एक्सकर्शन कैन अफेक्ट द स्टेबिलिटी रिजल्ट लीडिंग टू पोटेंशियल चेंजेस इंक्लूडिंग degradation of product in the drug products quality and performance hence it is essential to document and justify any deviation from the recommended storage conditions during stability testing reference guideline who trs number 953 annex 2 next question how do you establish a retest period for drug substance in stability studies answer is the retest period for drug substance is determined based on the long term stability data which helps to determine the duration during which the substance can be used without the need for retesting reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 what is the role of statistical analysis in stability studies statistical analysis is crucial or important in stability studies as it aids in the evaluation of the data identifies trends and detects significant changes in stability results providing a robust scientific basis for making stability related decisions reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 how do stability studies account for container closure systems stability studies consider the interaction between the drug products and their container closure systems ensuring that the chosen packaging materials maintain the product's quality and integrity throughout its shelf life reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 What are the requirements for stability data storage and record keeping? Stability data should be stored securely, protecting them from environmental factors that could affect their integrity and maintained with appropriate record keeping practices to ensure traceability and inspection readiness. Reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2. How are stability studies impacted by scale up and post approval changes? Scale up and post approval changes may necessitate or identify requirement for additional stability studies to ensure that the product's quality remains consistent as changes in manufacturing processes or formulations can impact stability characteristics reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 and ICH Q5C what is the purpose of bracketing and matrixing design in stability studies Bracketing and matrixing designs reduce the number of samples tested while ensuring data integrity and product representation offering a scientifically sound approach to establish stability data with reduced resource requirement reference guideline ICH Q1D Next question how do you determine the frequency of stability testing for a drug product The frequency of stability testing for a drug product is determined based on its expected shelf life and storage conditions ensuring that the stability data generated represents the product's behavior throughout its intended duration of use reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 What are the implications of stability data exception or deviation in stability studies Stability data exception or deviation require thorough investigation to determine the root cause and potential impact on product quality and stability profiles as they may affect product release specifications and stability predictions reference guideline ICH Q1 AR2 How is the photo stability of a drug product assessed in stability studies Photo stability testing involves exposing drug products to specific light conditions as per ICH guidelines allowing assessment of their sensitivity to light induced degradation refer below table as per ICH guideline Q1B 
what is the role of stability studies in post marketing surveillance stability studies continue to play a vital or important role during post marketing surveillance ensuring that the product's quality remains consistent throughout its commercial life and any changes in stability characteristics are promptly identified and addressed to maintain patient safety and product efficiency reference guideline who trs number 953 annex 2 What are the four major product degradation types? Four major product degradation types are hydrolysis, oxidation, photolysis and thermal degradation. You can refer below table for degradation type and their description. This one is very important question what are the implications of stability data non compliance during regulatory submissions? Answer is non compliant stability data can lead to delays in regulatory approvals or even rejection of the application. emphasizing the critical importance of conducting stability studies in accordance with regulatory guidelines to ensure product safety and quality reference guideline ichq1 ar2 how do you establish a dissolution specification in stability studies answer is the dissolution specification is established based on the drug product's performance during stability testing ensuring that it meets the desired dissolution profile over its shelf life to assure adequate bioavailability and therapeutic efficacy reference guideline ichq1 ar2 what is the role of stability studies in post approval change management answer is stability studies are critical in assessing the impact of post approval changes on product stability and quality guiding decision making to implement change while ensuring that the product continues to meet its quality specifications throughout its shelf life reference guidelines ichq1 ar2 and ichq5 c how are the stability studies affected by variations in regional climatic conditions stability studies may require adaptation to different climatic conditions when products are distributed globally ensuring that the product remains stable and meets quality specifications regardless of its intended storage locations A reference guideline who trs number 953 annex 2 last and very important question which guideline are commonly referred for stability studies in pharmaceutical industry below are the five guidelines that are commonly referred for stability studies in pharma industry these are ichq1 ar2 ich Q1B ICHQ1E WHO TRS number 953 annex 2 and ICHQ5C Keep watching Farm Grow subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry